Welcome back to our channel guys. Today we've got a bit of a special one for you. We promised that we'd be showing you some stuff in the garage and what we've been doing. Today's a really good one because we've been tasked with getting one of my favourite cars going for a good friend of mine and that is right behind us here. Let's have a look at it. It is a Ford Sierra Sapphire RS Cosworth. Now I've got a lot of history with these cars. Uh, had loads over the years, had a lot of fun in them. One of my all time favourites. This car has been standing for the last four years so we've been tasked with getting it started and making sure it's running okay. So what started as a quick and easy project um, quickly lost enthusiasm and the cars ended up stood for around four years. It hasn't run in that time, it hasn't moved anywhere so we've been tasked with getting it running um, because the car's going to be going up for sale. Now we've put the battery on charge overnight, we've got that connected back up. So I'm just going to go through a couple of bits and uh, just show you how I'm going to try and get this thing going. So first thing I'm going to do now we've got the battery back on the vehicle is I'm just going to disconnect these injector plugs here. The reason I'm doing that is because this engine has been standing so long um, I don't want to start it up absolutely dry on oil because as, as you can imagine all the oil will have run away from all the um, camshaft and hydraulic lifters and everything like that so if I spin the engine over straight when it starts it's not good for the engine internals running without lubrication. Some people pull the HT leads off the spark plugs I don't advise that because whilst the injectors are connected they're going to still be spraying fuel in there and bore washing uh, any lubrication off the ball. So this is the way I do it and we'll turn the engine over until we have oil pressure. I've just got the keys. Yeah, you can start recording now. So let's Oh, we've got absolutely no life there. Right, let's see if we've got some life. We've got life. So we're just going to crank this over until the um, oil light disappears. There we go. We know it's... Uh, we have oil pressure now. That's pretty good oil pressure to be honest. That's uh, gone out pretty quick. So we're just going to reconnect the injectors up. We had to put a booster on in the end. It turns out the battery, even though we put it on a charge overnight, didn't uh, didn't charge up. So we'll try again now. Thanks for watching guys, subscribe to our channel and follow us for more similar content. We're going to be doing something soon with a very special Subaru Impreza that's behind me right now. Stay tuned, see you next time.